hello guys welcome to my channel today and thank you for joining me so today I'm working in my tag book we're going to make some more tags to go in here I think I'm just going to go do two for these pockets here so I've got some craft card I'm going to make them out of the craft card I'm just going to grab my trimmer oh I'm sorry about this creaking chair oh it's a blooming nuisance right let's show we see how wide we want them well, it's quite wide isn't it let's just measure how wide they are um this one's a bit smaller so just under three inches and just under five inches so i'm going to do four and a half see if that will fit in there Yep, I'm just under three inches. Let's make sure that fits in there. Well, that's a little bit of a squeeze. Let's just take a bit more off. It's just the way I've stitched the pockets. I've just stitched them different sizes. Yep, that goes in there. Okay. So let's, what length do we want them? I want them hanging out like the rest of them. So probably cut. How far are them others coming off? Quite a bit, aren't they? Let's just try that and see what that looks like. Just a little bit more. Yeah, that one's okay. Right, where's my other one? Let's try that one. Yeah, that's okay. Right, let's move them little bits and pieces. Let's move that out of the way. Get my tags. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to put some book page on each of my tags. Um, how am I going to stitch around it? Yeah, but I'm still going to use this glue, I think, just to make sure it stays on. Oh, I've had a busy morning, guys. I finally got round to doing my coffee dyeing. Oh, two and a half hours. Luckily, hubby was in and he was helping me because I'd never have managed to do it for so long. I'm blessed he's just stood there and ironed them all for me. So I've got plenty of papers to be going on with now. For a good few journals. I do when I do it, I do do it in bulk, so I've got a loss. Because I think once you get everything out, it's just you might as well try and do as many as you can. Well, I do anyway, even though it's a blooming pain. I don't have an airing cupboard to put, you know, to dry in or anything. Um, I have pegged it on the line, but I just do it in the oven because it's just well, it's just all done it in one take then. But uh, yeah, it's not the uh, coolest of weathers to be coffee dyeing paper, but it's done now. So <laughs> yeah, I'm ready to go. I've got quite a bit big stock on. I did a load of envelopes, some lace, papers. Uh, yeah, so I'm sorted for a little bit now. Thank goodness. We all up to guys today we've got the sunshine back we had rain all day yesterday uh, what day is it today it is monday the 26th of july when i'm videoing this i think it is um, yeah 26th of july i'm not going to oh screw in the tag up. i'm not going to keep them right let's just get my little where's it gone there it is I'm going to cut my corners. This one. This is just an old Amazon gift card that I've cut the corners on, you know, just to make the tag shape. That one. And the same with this one. just 
going to get the same each side. Right, okay, there we go. Right, what I'm going to do now is I've got some um, texture paste. And I've got two stencils. Let me just grab my wet wipes out and then I can wipe my stencils over. I've got two stencils. I'm going to do some stenciling onto these tags. So where's my palette knife? This is just Pebio modelling paste. <laughs> it's just took me hubby half an hour to get the lid off it. The lid was just stuck fast. We couldn't move it. I thought it was just me, but even he couldn't do it. It took 10 minutes to get the lid off this thing. Yeah, it really did. <laughs> so, you're not going to see a lot of this, to be honest. It's going to be covered up, but it's just to put a little bit of texture on my tag. Yeah, just a little bit like that. Right, let me just always wipe your stencils when you're playing with texture paste because the amount I've ruined. Yeah, just use a wipe and then when you've finished go and wash them you know under the tap with soap and water because if you don't this stuff once it dries it's a nightmare you'll never get it off it's really hard to get off so it just takes a minute doesn't it just to stop and wipe your stencil over and then I've got another one here I'm going to do this one on here and that's a nice stencil do us fine wipe your palette knife as well yeah always wipe your stencils because you'll struggle to get it off once it's dry you'll ruin your stencils I mean these are only I think these were from craft stash a pound each but you don't want to ruin them do you only takes a minute to wipe them right okay I think I'm going to clean that before I put the lid on it properly I'm just going to put it out the way there right what I'm going to do now guys is I'm just going to bring in my heat gun and just dry off that texture paste just put that down on the desk a minute um, I've chosen two colours two colours I very rarely work with I've got Rusty Hinge these are Distress Oxide sprays and I've got Aged Mahogany I'm going to try these two colours and just have a look what they look like together they might not go at all but I'm going to try it so I'm going to spritz with my aged mahogany first right I'm going to dry off that colour first because I don't want it to go like mud so let's just dry that off first this colour I missed a step out I meant to put a coat of clear gesso on just to uh, before I put my inks on but never mind I've done it now so it doesn't matter I did mean to put a coat on but not to worry right let's try this rusty hinge Oh, I don't know about that. I'm not too sure about that one. Let's dry it off and have a look what it looks like. Okay, no, I'm not keen on that one. I'm going to come in with the gathered twig. Uh, yes, gathered twigs. I'm not keen on that rusty hinge. I thought it was going to be sort of a brownie colour. It's a bit, I mean, I know rust is orange really, isn't it? I should have thought about that before I... better so I've grunged it up a little bit I'm just going to dry off again old mica spray I'm going to spray some of this over this is my favourite let's have it all sparkly that transforms it it's gorgeous I will try and hold it up for you in a minute I'm just going to dry off have a look at the colours see if we like them yeah that looks nice now doesn't it with those mix of colours let me see can you see the mica hope so on that one yeah right let's ink around the edge I'm going to go with my um am I going to go with gathered twigs yeah I was going to go with black I don't know whether to put no I'm going to go with black I'm going to get my black soot um, have I got a black one of these blending sponges yeah just 
going to go around the edge and black, grunge it up a little, that's better. I love black. I do love working with black. Don't really do it a lot in my junk journaling, to be honest, but when I'm making tags in ephemera, sometimes I'll edge in black. I just think it's a lovely colour. Yeah, I'm strange, aren't I? Right, okay, and I'm also going to use this black sort. I've got a script stamp. I'm just going to see if I can... Let me just get a stamping block. Um, just be a bit easier. Put some ink on my stamp. It won't stamp properly because I've got the... Oh, it has actually the texture paste. Oh, that looks nice actually. I'm pleased with that. Yeah, that looks nice. Can you see there the, the stamping? Yep. Oh, I'm happy with that. I like that. Yes, I do. <laughs> Very much. Let's just wipe that stamp over. Just got out the flipping shower. I'm covered in stuff already. Oh dear me! Never mind. It'll wash, won't it? Right. So that is that then. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to wipe over my desk. There we go. Nice and clean. Let's just dry it off. Right, now then, I can't decide whether to put some paper dolls on there or whether to put some of the Tim Holtz Botanicals. Let's have a look what we've got. Let's just put some holes in here first. I'm going to put eyelets in these. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Um, and I'm also going to do a little bit more stamping with this stamp here just going to stamp, see this big wooden one, I'm going to stamp some of this into the background as well. Love, love this stamp. One of my favourites. Just so you can just sort of see it faintly in the background. I'm going to do the same on the other side. There's quite a lot of texture underneath with that texture paste so it won't stamp perfect. That's it, just so I've got some little lines from the image. Yeah, they're my favourite wooden stamps. I love working with wooden stamps. Right, let's get rid of that. Let's put that there for a minute. Let's get some eyelets in. I think we'll have black. Let's just punch a hole. Um, not sure which one to use, that big one I think. This one. Come on. Why aren't you falling out? It's stuck in. When you squeeze it, it normally comes out. There we go. Got it. Let's do this one. Oh, I should have used my slot punch, shouldn't I? My new slot punch. I never thought of that. Next time we'll use that. Right, let's put these eyelets in then. Um. Yep. I'm happy with those. Let me just move these out the way and let's have a look what we're going to put on the front. I want some black ribbon. Uh, bear with me a second. I'm just going to turn around just to my ribbon box behind me here. Let's see if I've got some black candy. You watch, it's not going to be here. Uh, I have, but it's a bit thick. We'll have a look if it'll fit on. I'm not too sure whether it'll be too thick. Let's have a little look. Um, I might have to cut it down. Let's see if it will go through. Might do. If I force it. Oops. I 
Yeah, it will. Okay, that's fine. Let's just cut a bit of that off. Oh, these scissors desperately need cleaning and sharpening. Let's see if some get hubby to try and sharpen them for me later. Cutting fabric with them. I've got fabric scissors sitting right in front of me. I should have just got those, shouldn't I? But that's what I'll do. These are great. These are really sharp little scissors. Okay. I do like them colours. Yeah, it looks nice, that rusty hinge now, actually, with the other colours. Quite pleased with that. Right, okay, so that is our tag. Let's have a look in the botanicals. See if we've got any nice big butterflies or something we could put on there. don't really want to use the, um, what do we call them? Oh, paper dolls. I couldn't think what they were called then, I think. I mean, it's a bit bright, that, so I could ink over it. But too big for that one next to it. What about that one? Is that too big for there yet? Um, oh, we've got florals. I think florals might be nice, mightn't they? bit wet that tag let's have a look what else we've got got so many of these that would be nice to be used that one that's nice isn't it I like that I don't know if that looks a bit big on there that one let's see if we can find a smaller one I'd like to use some of these I really would I'm going to save them feel notes for when I'm doing my woodland journal let's have a look for a that one's nice isn't it yeah, let's go with them too. Let's not stand dithering for ages. Let's just decide what we're doing. I'm going to go round them with my um, brown ink. I'm using gathered twigs just to get rid of that white. I don't want the white. I'm going to go over them a little bit. So there's no white. Put you there. That's nice. I like that. You. Right, let's get some glue then. It's a little bit wet in that corner, that one. Uh, which way should we go? We'll just go like that. Just grunge it up with the ink. That looks better, doesn't it? Probably take a minute to grab onto the texture paste. Right, let's do this one then. Oh, I love that gold. Can you see? Gorgeous. It's only made with mica spray and water in that spray bottle. That's all it is. I haven't added any alcohol or anything like that. It's just the mica spray and water. I love it. Okay. In the corner. Oops, scraps of ribbon, we don't need them. Don't put any glue on that bit there. Right, I'm going to get some Tim Holtz words. Um, let's just have a look which drawer are we in. Where's my metallic ones? Something with gold on while well, we've got gold mica. These are metallic sticker book. Right, let's have a look what we can put on here then. This is a new one, I've not used many of these. Um we'll have shine brightly. I'm going to put a little bit of glue on just to make sure stay on you know with the being texture paste on the tag I'm going to put shine brightly there I do like them really like them and then we'll have make today count I'd be lost without these things I really would I love words I love using words on my projects as you've probably gathered by now 
that's it guys no it's not hang on wait a minute i know it's not i know what i've got to do i've just remembered i've got a piece of copy dyed paper that i'm going to put on the back and then they can be journaled on i think what i'm going to do is do a giveaway for this when i've finished it and yeah just get it give it to somebody if well not that anybody might not want it do you know what i'm saying but um yeah i'm going to do a giveaway It'll probably only be UK, I'm sorry about that, but the post at the moment, I just haven't got the money to post international. The prices at the moment, and Royal Mail have been rubbish. I posted some bits off to a friend. Oh, um, must be nearly two weeks ago. They've, they've not got to where it was just some ephemera that I said I'd send her. No, she's never got them, so I'm a bit annoyed about that. Yeah, when you pay to send them and they don't arrive, you feel awful, don't you, when you're telling people you're sending them stuff and they don't get it. Yeah. Oh dear me, what was the point in getting in the shower? Till I'd do, I should have waited till I'd done this, shouldn't I? Silly me, never mind. <laughs> They'll wash, I never have clean hands. I should have took that ribbon out really while it, while it cut around it. I should have took the ribbon out, shouldn't I? Instead of trying to blooming cut around the ribbon. Lazy bones. <laughs> there we go. Then it can be journals on the back there now. And let's do this one. Yeah, them colours have turned out nice, haven't they, together? What did we use? Rusty hinge, aged mahogany gathered twigs and then the gold mica spray on the top right so now I've finished guys that's my little project for today so they will go where are we in there like that that one in there And that one in there so it's coming along nicely now we've got one two three four lots done so that's it then guys let's just zoom in a little bit for you you can see the tags close up thank you so much for stopping by to watch come along and join me if you're not already subscribed to my channel and don't forget to hit that little bell which will notify you when i upload any new video so until next time guys take care and happy crafting bye Thank you.